Hi there everyone, this is Miss Ashman here from Dudley Performing Arts. This is part two of your Bill Bailey Won't You Please Come Home. And we're looking at page 23, so the second page of the piece. So we've just finished on this part. <laughs> Okay, so the next bit that we need, we're going to just do our right hand first. You you get to this note here, you count to three. So one, two, three, and then you need three Gs. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, G, 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 C with finger two, E with finger three, finger four on G, and then a little finger on B flat. Okay, so we're using every finger on our hand. So can you give me three Gs? One, two, three, C, E, G with finger four. Here we go. One, two, three. G, 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 C, E, G. And then little finger's going to get B flat and finger four will land on A at the end. Okay. Chord wise, we're on C chord. We do our three Gs. C7, when you get to your G, which means you just add in finger three on your B flat note to make it a C7 chord. And then F chord when you hit the A at the end. So give that a little try. Okay. So that's our connection into kind of the second half. So let's just do the right hand now from the end of this second line down here. OK, so we're starting on a C. I want you to give me four C's and we're going to go C, 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 D at the end. So ready? I'm going to count you three and we're going to go for it. One, two, three. C, 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 D. OK, we're going to add a bit more now. So at the end of that, I want you to go C, G with finger four. So I need two G's with finger four. C, G, G, and then A, E, and finger two should land on your E. So let's try that. Here we go. I'm going to count to three. I'm going to put that together. So we're going to go from the C's. One, two, three. C, 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 D, C, G, G, A, E. Okay, well done. And then to finish this little bit off, we're now going to put finger three on E. So it's a finger change. And I want you to go two threes, E, E, D, C sharp, D. So let's try that after three. One, two, three, E, E, D, C sharp, D. And then finger four is sitting on F waiting to be used. And you go F, E, C at the end. And then we move up to a G and a C for a double note ending, okay? So let's just try, do that from the end of that second line up from the bottom, from the finger three on E, one, two, three, E, E, D, C sharp, D, four on F, E, C, and then your doubles. Okay, now chord wise, we're on an F chord when we get there. We need to twist right round, twist on that pointing finger to get to your D7, which is here. So that is F sharp at the bottom, C and D. So our little finger can step up on here and my thumb can step up on here and I'm back to C chord. Okay, we're gonna go for a full A7 chord, which is when finger four comes in on A here and my finger two reaches up here for a C sharp. So let's do those chords so far. So we're on an F, we're gonna twist round to D7 we're then going to step up to C chord and then finger four and two come into play for A7. Okay. We then go back to D7 chord and a G7, which is your G, B and a high F and a C chord. Okay. So let's go through all those chords together, starting with the F chord, end of the third line up from the bottom. Ready? One, two, three, four. F chord. Moving to D7, C chord, A7. Back to D7, G7, and a C. Okay, so if we put the two hands together, we've got our F chord here, and we're already on F chord when we get there. So you're going to count one, two, three, and you're in with your C's. Here we go one, two, three, C, 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 D. C, G with finger four, two on the E, change your finger, D7, G7, and a C, and then your double notes at the top. 
Okay, now I'm going to play that with rhythm. Have a good practice of that with two hands. That will take you a little while to get that. But once you're there, we can do it with two hands. So I'm going to go from the top of the page, which will link us into all the things we've done. And then you can have a little practice of that. Here we go. Ready? I'm going to count us in after four. One, two, three, four. Okay, lovely. So have a good practice of that and put that all together. If you go back to part one, you'll get that full run through at the beginning, which you can have a little play through and see if you can match it up. Okay, take care, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Bye.